In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drop down list in Google Sheets. And this is done by using something that's called data validation. So, what we have here in this example is a list of student names and an empty column in column B where we want to mark the attendance status for each student. And we're going to do this by creating a drop down list that lets us select between present and absent. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to select cell B2 because this is where we want to insert our drop down list. Then on the top toolbar, click data and then click data validation. This opens up the data validation menu. Now, the first thing to notice is the cell range, which has already been filled in by Google Sheets. And it's telling us that we're going to apply this data validation or this drop down list in cell B2 in the tab named from list. And we didn't need to type this manually because we selected the cell before we opened the menu. But if you want, you could have typed this or you can click the grid and select the data range. But either way, just make sure that the cell range is referring to the cell or the range of cells where you want your drop down to be in. And if you want, you can apply drop down lists to multiple cells at once by listing a range of cells here instead of referring to one cell. But we'll go over that in the next example. Now, the next thing is that you can choose between list of items or list from a range. And as you can see, there's some other options here. But the two main ones that we're going to concern ourselves with in this video is list of items and list from a range. If you choose list of items, this means that you're going to type the items for your drop down list directly into the data validation menu, which is what we're going to do in this example. But in the next example, I'll show you how to list from a range, which means that the items for your drop down list are going to be listed in spreadsheet cells rather than directly in the data validation menu. So I'm going to click list of items. And again, I want my drop down list to allow people to select the word present or the word absent. And so here I'm going to type present comma absent. Separate your list items with a comma and do not include a space after the comma. So we have present and absent as our options for the drop down list. Now, another important setting is the setting for on invalid data, and you can choose show warning or reject input. If you choose show warning, when somebody enters invalid text, or in other words, text that is not one of the list items, Google Sheets will display a warning when invalid text is entered into the drop down list cell. But if you choose reject input, not only will Google Sheets show you a warning, but it will actually reject the text that you're trying to input, and the cell will remain unchanged when you try to enter the invalid data. So I'm going to select Show Warning, and then I'm going to click Save. So now, here in cell B2, I have a drop down list, and if I click on this little arrow, I can choose between present and absent. And if I choose one of the selections, Google Sheets automatically fills the cell with the text that I selected. And so this makes it really easy for people to select the correct item. Now, if you need to edit a drop down list, you go through the same process as creating the drop down in the first place. Select the cell or the range of cells that you want to edit, click data, and then click data validation, and then change your settings. Now, again, in the next example, I'm going to show you how to apply a drop down list to multiple cells at once. But if you want, you can also copy and paste your drop down list and your data validation rules from one cell to another. And there's a couple different ways to do this. First of all, you can copy and paste a cell that already has a drop down in it to another cell. So here in cell B2, we have a cell with a drop down. And if I hold control and then press C on the keyboard, and then I click on cell B3, then hold control and then press V on the keyboard. The drop down list copies from one cell to another. And now cell B3 has the same data validation rules or the same drop down list as in cell B2. Now, if I want, I can delete the text from cell B3, copy it again, and continue pasting it down the column. And I can put my drop down lists wherever I want. 
Now I'm going to show you another way to copy your drop downs from one cell to another. And this is by using autofill. So again, select the cell that has the drop down list in it. Hover your cursor at the bottom right of the cell until the fill handle appears, which looks like a plus sign. Click your mouse, hold the click, drag your cursor downwards, and release your click. And this does the same thing as copying and pasting cells. Now that you know how to create drop down lists, you'll also want to know how to remove drop down lists or to remove data validation from cells. And so I'll show you two different ways to do this. So I'm going to click on cell B2, which currently has a drop down list in it. And the main way to remove a drop down list is to go into the data validation menu by clicking data, data validation, and then click remove validation. As you can see, cell B2 no longer has a drop down list in it. Now, another way is to simply copy and paste a cell that does not have a drop down list in it into a cell that does have a drop down list in it. So, for example, if I copy cell B2 and then paste into cell B3, it removes the drop down list from cell B3. So in this example, instead of listing the items for our dropdown list directly in the data validation menu, we're going to list them in spreadsheet cells and then refer to those cells from the data validation menu. And so as you can see here in column D, we have our different list items for the dropdown, present, absent, tardy, and excused. These are the list items that we want to be able to select in our dropdown. And so what we're going to do is select cell B2, click data on the top toolbar, and then click data validation. Now this time I'm going to apply the drop down lists to multiple cells at once. And if I wanted, I could have selected the entire range of cells that I want the drop downs in before opening the data validation menu. But what I'm going to do is modify the cell range, and instead of B2, I'm going to refer to B2 colon B1000. And so these drop down lists are going to be applied to all of column B. Now, in this example, we're going to select list from range, and then we're going to refer to column D, which again contains the criteria that we want for our list. And so I'm going to type D2 colon D. And then I'm going to click save. And as you can see, the drop down lists have been automatically applied to all of column B at once. And if I click the drop down, I have all four of my selections available, which were typed into column D. And so our drop down list is referring to the list items in column D. And this makes it really easy to modify your criteria. If I delete the word excused from column D and then open the drop down list, that selection has now been removed from the drop down list. So again, it makes it really fast to modify manually. And this allows you to do some pretty cool things with combining drop down lists and formulas. But I'll show you that in another video. But I do want to show you one formula that's really useful with using drop downs, and that's the unique formula. So here in column A, we have a list of names. But as you can see, there are duplicate names. And we want to use this column to generate a list of names for our drop down list, but we don't want the duplicates to appear in the drop down. And so, what we're going to do is use the unique function to remove the duplicates from column A to generate a list of criteria in column E, which will be all of the different names in column A, but with no duplicates. And so, in cell E2, I'm going to type equals unique parentheses A2 colon A and then press enter. And now we have a list of the names from column A with no duplicates. And now we can create a drop down in column C and refer to column E for our list criteria. And when we open our drop down, we can select from the names, but again, there are no duplicates. And so the unique function is a very, very useful function for using with drop downs. But again, in another video, I'm going to show you how to do a lot more cool stuff with formulas and drop downs. Is how to create a drop down from one sheet 
when your list of criteria is in another sheet. And so you can see here on this tab that's named list, we have the same criteria or the list of items entered in column A. And what we're going to do on a different tab is create a drop down list that refers to the list of items on a different tab. So I'm selecting cell B2. I'm going to click data and then data validation, select list from range. And in this case, I'm going to refer to the list tab. So I'm going to type list exclamation point. And then I'm going to type the range, which is A2 through A. I'm referring to column A from the list tab to specify the items that I want in my drop down list. Then click Save. And as you can see here in cell B2, I have my list of items just like I wanted. And that list of items is held on a completely different tab than the tab that my drop down is in. So there's a lot more that you can do with drop down lists. And this video was just meant to show you the basics of how to create them. And again, in the future, I'm going to create more videos and show you how to do some more really cool stuff with drop downs. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and have a great day.